Thomas, why? Father? <gasps> Hurry, Ashley, hide. What do you hope to accomplish? Mommy? I follow this path. I can get to the mansion. Watch out! What? No going back now. What should I do? That's a... Uh... Oh! This is the way to the mansion. All right, now I can get a... Huh? What's 
this? Edward. The captain mentioned that name. What? Ashley. <laughs> Dad. Hey. Oh. Look alive. We're almost there. So that's Blood Edward Island? Right you are, miss. That's our destination. Used to get more than two visitors at once. Not much call for a ferryman there now. <sighs> business is your own, of course. But I'm sure curious what calls you out here. The day before my 14th birthday started off pretty bad. On the boat, the waters were calm. But inside, I felt tossed in a storm. I was so excited. But also lost and angry. I've never felt so torn apart. Who could blame me? I mean, my dad. I always thought he was dead. But he's alive! Jessica! Hey! Oh, good. You're awake. Come feel the breeze. It's nice. Yeah, nice. What's wrong? Feeling seasick? Nah, I'm alright. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You had the dream again? Yeah. I don't know why I keep having it. It always ends the same. And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Don't rack your brain too hard. You were so little back then. 
Besides, you'll see him in person soon. So cheer up. I guess. Jessica is Dad's little sister. She's all the family I have left. She's raised me since I was little. And on a high school chem teacher's salary. Don't get me wrong, she's been really nice. She always considers what's best for me and helps me out when I need it. Now though, I don't know. Why did you never tell me dad was alive? Why have you been lying to me all this time? That's, I mean, I promised your dad. Promised him what? It was 11 years ago. Richard showed up one day, holding you. He just turned three. It was so sudden, I could tell something was wrong. He said, look after her. I'll be back for her someday. But until you hear from me again, it's best if you tell her I'm dead. Why would he say that? He didn't tell me. I bet he wanted nothing to do with me after Mom died. No, it wasn't like that. Oh. My brother's a good man. Please trust that he had his reasons. He's not the kind of man who'd abandon his child if there was any other option. I remember the warmth in his eyes as he looked at you. When I saw that, I knew I had to take care of you until he came back home. I'm so sorry, Ashley. I wanted to tell you sooner. I received a package a few days ago. It didn't say who it was from. But there were two things inside. A letter from Dad, who I thought died when I was three. And this strange device that looks like a game system. Now here I am, rereading the letter on a boat with my aunt, heading to Blood Edward Island, where my dad is supposed to be waiting. So, what was he like? My dad. Well, Richard is a brilliant neuroscientist. He was, is a neuroscientist? Like he studied brains? Yeah, and I bet he made that device he sent you. Really? He made this? Okay, that's kind of amazing. What exactly did he study? His focus was on memory. Memory, huh. He worked for a leading neuroscience research center. Talented scientists from all over the world came together there. And he met a scientist from Japan, and they fell in love. Before long, they got married. You're talking about... Right, Sayoko. She was your mother. Can you tell me more about mom? Sayoko had a powerful mind and an equally powerful will. She had beautiful eyes too. And that's where you get yours. They look just like hers. That's not what I mean! I want to hear real stuff. Like what? Just tell me the truth about her. Whatever it is, I can handle it. And I won't be mad. I just want to know about mom. 
I always thought mom died along with dad. Since it turns out dad's alive, that means mom is too, right? Is she on the island with him? Y you can tell me. Ashley, that's something you'll have to ask Richard about. He'll get all the answers you're looking for when you meet him. Great, thanks. So, Dad sent me this. It says D A S. Das? What do you think that stands for? Dunno. What's this camera icon? It works. <laughs> now, how do I look at the picture I took? Not bad. Could you take one of me next? Sorry, but no. You're the only one who can use that thing. What? Why? I had spent some time fiddling with it after it arrived. Seems like it's keyed to your genetic data using biometrics. What tricks? Biometric systems read a person's unique attributes. They can use those unique identifiers as a sort of key. Your DAS seems to have a system like that built in. Meaning it won't work for anyone but you. Huh. So it'll only work for me. Sorry to interrupt. We're almost there. He's not here. Wasn't someone supposed to meet you here? Strange. I wonder if something came up. Richard should be here. I changed my mind. I'm not going. Ashley. Why isn't Dad here? He's the one who told me to come to this island. So where is he? What? Is he too busy? I bet he doesn't want to see me after all. <sighs> Excuse me? No offense, but I have other passengers today. I'm going back to the mainland in a bit, if that's all right with you. Yes, that's fine. Well then, I'll be back by evening to pick you up as planned. 
Got it. Thank you. Why don't you wait here? I'll go find your father. I'll be right back. Your mom looked worried. Jessica's not my mom. What is she then? Your sister? No, Jessica's my aunt. She raised me. My dad bailed. Left me with her. I thought he was dead until I got this letter. Hold on now. What? Uh, it's clear you're working through some things right now. And I'm not one to meddle in other people's business. Are you sure you wouldn't rather go off with your aunt? It doesn't matter. <sighs> so long as we're waiting, why don't we have a little chat, hmm? Sure, but what's there to chat about? Well, we could talk about this island. Can we talk about you? Ask away. I'll answer whatever I can. No one lives here, right? Not these days. So there used to be people here. They say it was once home to a family of rich folks. But the Patriarch got sick and things went from bad to worse. Why? What happened? Uh, most of the family died. One right after the next. <sighs> How did they die? Couldn't tell you. Was it one big tragedy or a bunch of little accidents? Hold on now. I get that it can be tempting to dig into something like this. But take a lesson from me. Don't go meddling in other people's business. Even if you got to the bottom of it all, what do the dead care? <sighs> anyway, the whole thing drove what was left of them away. So now the place is deserted. Some heartless folks started calling it blood-soaked Edward Island. But I guess that doesn't quite roll off the tongue, because now it's just blood Edward Island. Well, that explains that. Do you come to this island a lot? Hardly. It's rare that anyone feels the need to come out this way. Though, I did recently ferry a tall blonde man here. Wait, really? When was this? What was his name? <laughs> Aren't we a nosy one? I mean, this could be my dad we're talking about. Sorry, miss, but that's all you're getting out of me. I don't talk about my passengers, and I'll hold firm on that. Okay. So, how long have you been a captain? Uh, since well before you were born. Cool. That long, huh? <laughs> Why a captain? Was it your childhood dream? <sighs> Who can say? Didn't you ever want to be anything else? Maybe so. Can't say for sure. It's been quite a while since I've thought about it. Huh. Is it normal to forget the past as you get older? Nah. You forget what you want to forget. Isn't there anything you want to hold on to? Of course there is. Your heart keeps all the really precious memories locked away. The heart remembers, huh? Right. 
You might think those important memories are lost. But your heart can always set a course back to them. All right. Hmm. Isn't that your aunt? Huh? Oh, yeah. Shouldn't you go? Uh, right. See you later. <laughs>